Hello and welcome to our program today. Thank you so much for joining us. I am your host, Fisiani Siniyama. We have a fantastic program lined up for you today. Our guest country is Nigeria. Nigeria, British influence and control over what would become Nigeria and Africa's most populous country grew through the 19th century. A series of constitutions after World War II granted Nigeria greater autonomy. Independence came in 1960. With a population of just under 200 million people, Nigeria is located in Western Africa, bordering the Gulf of Guinea between Benin and Cameroon. The climate varies, equatorial in the south, tropical in the central part, and arid in the north. The terrain consists of southern lowlands, which merge into central hills and plateaus, mountains in the southeast and plains in the north. English is the official language. Well, indeed, Nigeria is a beautiful country, and right now I have Florence in the studio helping us learn a little bit more about that country. Florence, thank you so much for joining me. How are you today? I'm doing okay, yeah. and you? Thank you for having me. Yeah, I'm doing good too. Thank you for asking. So tell us a little bit about yourself and how to, you came to Canada. Um, I and my family moved to Canada in 2000, and uh, and that was in February. Uh -huh. I moved in with oh, my kids. Oh, February. February, it oh, was really goodness. cold. <laughs> um, but uh, we were uh, prepared for it. Yeah. I think we were, but we really didn't know how prepared we were until we finally got to Winnipeg. Yeah. And then we realized that all the sweaters we oh. brought was nothing. <laughs> so yeah. that was our first taste of Canada. Yeah. It was a very cold winter. Mm -hmm. And uh, pretty much for the first one month, we were indoors. Oh, indoors. wow. So and so at the time you came, how old was your oldest child and how young was your My youngest? oldest daughter was 15. My oldest child was 15. She's a girl. Uh -huh. And my last a boy was three. Oh, wow. And that was in 2000. Yes. So they're 2000. all grown up now. Yes. My oldest daughter is, uh, has two kids already. So oh, I'm a grandma. Nice. Oh, and wonderful. My, <laughs> yeah, three-year-old just turned uh, 18. Oh Last my December, goodness, so that's exciting. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> I'm free. Okay, yeah, you're free. <laughs> you're free. So Florence, I would like us to talk a little bit about family in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. um, how is family uh, looked at? Are there small families or are they big families? Um, in Nigeria, and I believe in all African <laughs> families, um, family is, is not just your your husband and your kids uh -huh. you know family is more like a village yeah um it depends on how you want to stretch it yeah but within the african context um yeah. a family is almost like everybody that you see every day yeah. that you interact with on a daily basis yeah. is part of your family so your co-worker that you work with mm -hmm. becomes part of your family is auntie at one point and yeah. uncle <laughs> and an uncle so but um, in the real sense, family is uh, including the cousins, the grandmother, the, the nieces and the nephews and every other person that is involved mm -hmm. with them, their husbands, and, and it keeps spreading. Yeah. So family for us is huge. In what way then does uh, your cultural background influence how you raise your kids? I constantly tell my kids that they are Nigerians mm -hmm. before they became Canadians. Yeah. And I also believe in culture, that people should maintain their culture, cultural aspect of their life. Because mm -hmm. I believe that uh, in, the, uh, in the human race, culture has played a dominant uh, role in shaping the life of every race yes. or every uh, 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 continent in the world. Mm -hmm. So that we are in Canada does not take away uh, the values of the Nigerian people. Um, we are happy people. We, we show respect a lot. Mm -hmm. Respect is one thing that we value a lot. And don't talk a lot about that because we still have that <laughs> one coming. I can't <laughs> wait to hear about that. So don't preempt it. Okay. <laughs> so, so yeah, I do tell them that um, they should, the fact that they are Canadians mm -hmm. now does not take away the good part. Yeah. And um, they should bring in the good part. That's why that's the good thing about Canada, and that's yeah. the good thing about living in Manitoba, mm -hmm. the multicultural city. Yes. And I said, we all bring in something into the mix. Mm -hmm. And then when we bring in the good value and yes. we all add it together. Yes. And what, you see, you know? I always say, you know, that 
no one culture has it all. No. But if we no. all come together, yes. we Bring have the it good all. Part. Yes, that's, yeah. that's exciting. I'm, I'm glad that you think <laughs> like that as well about it. Well, <laughs> that is you. awesome. And Florence is still here with us, and she has a fantastic dish, authentic from Nigeria, and a wonderful game. Welcome back. We do have Florence right now with us in the studio from Nigeria, helping us learn about the culture there. Florence, I know that in every culture there are no-nos and there are must-dos. And I want us, you to share with us a little bit about both of them. Um, for the Nigerian culture, I think yeah. the biggest no-no is seeing an elderly someone or someone you're senior and uh -huh. not saying anything. Uh -huh. So you have to greet your seniors in the morning yes. with uh, a good morning uncle, good mm -hmm. morning auntie, or even in the afternoon. Yes. I know I always correct, uh, I always leave my guests in the sitting room <laughs> when I'm sitting with a guest and my one of my kids just walk in mm -hmm. and just say hi and just walk by. <laughs> I'm going right back into the room and say, didn't you just see? What was that? What was that? <laughs> so. <laughs> it's a no-no for us. Uh -huh. It shows a, a huge amount of disrespect. Wow! For us. So and so, what would be, what would you consider the most respectful thing to do if I was walking on the street and I saw an elderly person? Like, um, w w what we consider the most respectful is when you see someone older than you. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really matter if the individual is elderly or not, as mm -hmm. long as. Um, the individual is older than you mm -hmm. um, to say hi first that shows mm -hmm. respect and in some culture in Nigeria they go as far as kneeling down like trying to bow yes. or to prostrate for you uh -huh. that shows that you are older than them yeah and also other stuff that might occur is um, when you are in a place and you see you know you are seated and mm -hmm. someone older than you gets comes in, you stand up right away without... So you give your seat. You don't yeah, need to you be give asked. Your seat. You don't need to be asked. You just give your seat. It doesn't matter. As long as, you know, he, he or she is older than you, mm -hmm. you give your seat right away. Except when he says, no, 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 you sit. I don't yeah. mind. Then that's fine. In as much as, uh, you know, social etiquette is important, I know religion is important mm -hmm. too. And uh, do you practice any religion? Yes, I am a Christian, okay. uh, and religion has played a lot of roles in shaping the Nigerian culture, actually. Nigeria has its own traditional cultures, mm -hmm. but we're, in Nigeria we practice two religions, or rather I would say three. Mm -hmm. um, we have the Muslims, the Christians, and then we have the traditional uh, belief, believers who mm -hmm. still pra practice the, the traditional um, ceremonies and native laws and custom. But um, when all these two religions came in, it kind of shaped uh, the culture a bit. Yeah. So you find uh, a lot of uh, things happening in the north being practiced through the religion more than the culture itself. Mm. But you know, it's all it's mixed. You up. know, it's all mixed up. Mm -hmm. The same with the west and the same with the east as mm -hmm. well. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, we still have more to come. Don't go away. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back to Home is Here. We still have Florence with us, and right now we are going to talk about exciting stuff. In Nigeria, when somebody turns of age, mm. and I also want you to tell us when that age would be, are there any special things that happen? Is there a party? How does that go? I guess I can, I can say to that because I have two girls now. Yes. <laughs> Got them married here in Canada. Uh -huh. um, yes, when a girl gets, um, gets of age, you mm. will know. And the girl herself, we know. Yes. I mean, things have evolved and changed. Yeah. During uh, when I was growing up, it was more my, my parents saying, "Yes, you have to get married." Yes. But now it's more. It's coming from the girl herself. Yeah. Saying, "Yes, I want to get married." Yeah. So it's not the parents pushing the, the girl to get married. Yeah. It's and the child. Um, unlike um, uh, during my time when the parents have to choose for you mm -hmm. or kind of help you decide. But uh, in this case, they are left to choose by mm -hmm. themselves who, whether they want to settle down or yeah. not. And I know my first daughter got married at 25. Yeah. And the second one 
got married at 27. So did they choose for themselves? <laughs> they chose for themselves, yeah. yes. Family is so important to us, knowing yeah. where our our girls are going into. Mm -hmm. uh, because for us, we, we are always hoping that the marriage lasts you know, we don't hear any uh, issue of divorce and mm -hmm. all that. So our parents are always hoping that we'll live together and die together with our husbands, mm -hmm. you know, old age. So um, it's one of the things they are afraid of. So they, they, they look at um, the man and said, oh, I don't marry the one that will, <laughs> you, you know, both of you will get separated in the middle of or that will leave you in the uh -huh. middle of nowhere. Yeah, so. yeah. And you see, I guess it, it does make sense to mm -hmm. want to know what family your daughter is going to go to because you want to look at what type of people are they. Are mm -hmm. they going to be able, because you can help yeah. your child when they're going through issues in their marriage, but you yeah. want to know whether the other side will do the same as well for exactly. them, right? Exactly. And that way then they have a longer marriage, a happier yeah. marriage and that type. I remember, I know when I was getting married, one of the big things for my dad was uh, making sure you marry someone that um, listens to the parents. Uh -huh. So uh, it's one of the things also that I pass on to my kids, you know, someone that has somebody to listen to. Uh, because in times, so if when couples are having a problem, if they can listen to advice, if they are open to listening to and getting advices or counseling, the marriage is for better. But mm -hmm. if they are close to their opinion, then it makes things more difficult. Mm -hmm. so. How do you celebrate weddings? Like, how is a wedding treated from the get-go? So your daughter comes to you and says, Mommy, I'm getting married. I love him. <laughs> Take it from there. Um, it's a long, it's a three-part process, or rather four-part, I would say. Mm -hmm. But we've been able to match it to three-part. Um, firstly, when the guy, the girl indicates that there is someone that she is interested in marrying to, uh, we in, we set up a date. Mm -hmm. The guy have to call and Ooh. set up a date to come see the parents. And when he's coming, he will have to come with uh, someone that knows him very well. Mm -hmm. His parents, uh, his friends, mm -hmm. somebody that can you know attest to the fact that he is this, he's not that. And also he he, he will also have to come with a um, with a drink. A drink. drink. Yeah, like a hot Young drink. Young men out there, you have to go with a drink. If you're going to Nigeria, <laughs> figure that out. <laughs> like a hot drink, you know, one of those, um, any hot drink, uh -huh. one or two, mm -hmm. and uh, one, and uh, maybe a carton of beer. Uh -huh. and, and we call it just knocking on the door. Okay. The groom is knocking knocking on the door <laughs> of the parents. I love it. So that's the first um, step. You know, the groom knocks so on the door. So will the groom be there? Yeah, the groom so he'll has come to with his there. people and come with his few people, uh -huh. and then you know it's a time for us to really look at him properly. Even though we've seen him before, we pretend we never saw him, <laughs> and then we ask all these long questions. So what do you do? And so I'm pretty sure your daughter is going, "Mom, go easy on him." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we kind of ask all those questions and say, mm, "Okay, we'll think about it," mm -hmm. and then you know they leave, and then we'll. We'll give it some time, maybe yeah. two months. So the girl think about it. Yeah. You know, are you really sure this is what you want to mm -hmm. do? Are you really sure he's the one for you? Yeah. And then after that, then the, another date is set mm -hmm. for him to now bring all his family. And oh. that's the one we do back home. Okay. We have to take the marriage back home. So did you have to take your daughter's marriage back yes, to Nigeria? I did. You did? I did. I that did. is awesome. I so did. You, you, did she have a wedding here in Canada? No, we did both the church wedding at home. Oh, okay. One, but the church wedding, one of the reasons why we did it back home mm -hmm. is because, uh, like again, culture, uh, in any of my, um, for any of my daughter to have a wedding here, mm -hmm. my brother has to be in attendance. Okay. Yeah, my brother has to be in attendance. Uh, the, her auntie, uh -huh. what, the oldest girl in the family, where mm -hmm. she come from, will have to be in attendance. Oh, wow. And so you guys yes. had to go to Nigeria because none of those people were here. Exactly. <laughs> and I didn't want to deal with the, with the immigration and um, explaining all yeah, that. So yeah. I just thought, you know what, we'll do it in yeah. Nigeria. Well, quickly, I just want to, I've heard this before and I want to hear it from a Nigerian. Yeah. A lot of, I watch a lot of Nigerian movies mm -hmm. and Ada. 
Yes. What does Ada mean? Ada is the first daughter in the It's in a the title. It's a title. Okay. Ada, and, and, and if you are marrying an Ada in the home, mm -hmm. the man also have to realize that he is also marrying the first daughter in the home. Okay. Which means that the daughter has, Ada has a responsibility to her siblings. Uh -huh. And that uh, she can bring in any of her siblings mm -hmm. at all times. So Ada is a very... Um, it's a it's a position, Princess. it's a title, <laughs> but with huge responsibilities. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Well, that's it for community. We will talk about food, and we will be playing that game. But right after this. Welcome back. We're here today talking to Florence about Nigeria. And right now she has this yummy, fantastic food here for us. Florence, tell us a little bit about what we have. Um, what we have here is uh, what we call black eye beans here okay. in Canada. Mm -hmm. But in Nigeria, we, it's just known as beans. Yeah. Um, we, we can, in Nigeria, we have the brown beans, which uh -huh. is almost similar to this, and then this one. But this is the most popular one eaten. Okay. Beans is next to rice. Oh, wow. In Nigeria. So you eat so a lot of beans, something eh? We eat a lot of beans mm -hmm. in Nigeria in various forms. Okay. Um, one of the forms that I've made today is uh, akara, akara, which can be used as breakfast, and mai mai also, which can be used for lunch or supper. Mai but mai? Mai mai, yeah. Okay. Um, it's pretty much... Uh, um, uh, pure beans and okay. with nothing added to it except the pepper, onions, and salt, and okay. then a little bit of oil. So how did you make, so which one is this one? Um, this is the akara. Akara, okay, how akara. did you make akara? Um, firstly, you wash the black eye beans, mm -hmm. and when you wash the beans, it mm -hmm. comes out in this Okay. In this color white. Okay. And then you throw in all those ingredients there mm -hmm. and blend it in your blender. Okay. I use a blender and blend it to a very thick paste. Okay. And then you deep fry it. Oh. So with this, you can use a uh, bread. You can put it in a bread bo um, bread buns and yeah. eat it as a uh, instead of beef patties or chicken patties. Vegan. You can use that for ve yeah, yeah vegetarian. In fact, here in Canada, we um, we do that a lot in our home. Okay. And uh, uh, for this. Um, and what do you call the other one? The other one is my 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 my, my okay. is more technical in in in, in doing. Okay. But the only difference is that you add more water, more liquid to my my rather than the akara. Okay, so you wash it, it comes out like that. You yeah. blend it, but you add a little bit more water. You to add it. a little bit more water, nothing more except a little bit of oil also goes in there. Okay, and you make your foil. This is a plain foil that I have. Mm -hmm. um, Pick out the foil. It doesn't matter which shape you make it. Okay. And you make a little bit of a pocket. Okay. And um, close up both ends. Okay. And there you go. You have your pocket to put in the liquid. So from the blend, and from the blender, you just put it in. Yeah. In there. You are, remember to add salt. Okay. And then you throw it in the seal of the front. Uh huh. So Oops. Mm -hmm. And then you steam it. It's it's by steaming. Okay. Yeah, you steam it. It doesn't take maybe for thirty minutes, and it's, it's it turns out this way. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, we have the recipes for both akara and mai mai. If you want some of those, please be sure to visit visit us on Facebook as well as our website, and you will definitely get them there. So, Florence, one other question: Do you get a lot of? Uh, um, your indigenous foods here in Winnipeg? Like, are there stores where you can go and find them? Yes, there are quite a number of stores. Um, okay. Dino's is one of them, mm -hmm. Young, and a lot of Asian stores yeah. do carry. Um, there is another one on East Kildonan that is very close to me, Sangam. Okay. Okay. Sangam is another store that carry almost everything we, that we So you're not missing need. out. Oh, no, we're not <laughs> missing out. Not quite. Well, yeah. some we still, still, we still have to bring some of them from yeah. home, but not for this uh, yeah. major food. This yeah. sounds so simple, and I'm really looking forward to uh, trying uh, the Akara. 
Yes. So yes. right now, do you have uh, any eating habits? Uh, can no, I just? No, it, it can be it's finger food. Finger I mean, food, it's okay. all for anyone who likes beans. Uh -huh. Or it, it's it's a very tasty food, and kids love it a lot. Rather yeah. than giving a child, I mean, potato chips is also good, but yeah. Akara is even way better. Yeah, I I totally so, believe it. So okay, so can we try some of this sure, food? Sure, yeah. Okay, we will be trying. You, you can use your hand and. And pick one, and it's you yeah. Know, I'll, it's just <laughs> yeah. I'll just use my hands. Yeah, I'll just use my hands. We do use our hands to eat it back home. So, wow, <laughs> it's so hard to believe that this is just beans. Mm -hmm. Wow, <laughs> seriously, it's you have to try it. It's fantastic. No flour, nothing. It's all beans. All beans. Mm -hmm. I can't say enough. Mm -hmm. Wow. And I brought out two pepper, mm -hmm. two types of pepper. One is hotter than the other one. You okay. mustn't use the two. For us, we prefer the smaller one because it's way hotter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it doesn't matter if you use the red one. It's just for the color. And it's to add nutrients to It's such a simple it's meal, but it's very simple. so tasty. And yeah. I love beans a whole lot. And um, I'm definitely trying that. I will <laughs> be trying it. If you're going to try this recipe at home, please be sure to take pictures and send them to me. I'll be able to put them on our Facebook page as well as our website. Thank you so much. We will be right back. Hello and welcome back. We have Florence here with us from Nigeria and right now we have a game. I will attempt to say it, but Florence, you might have to. So is it called Ayo and Ayo and or Ncho. Ayo or Ncho. So any of the two? Yes, any okay. of the two. All right, tell us a little bit about this game. Um, this is a game that is played by all the, uh, every uh, member of the family. Okay. The family can sit down together at night and relax over this game. Yeah. Uh, it can be played by the mom, the dad, and the ch kids at the same time. Okay. So it's a game that bonds the family. Yeah. Um, and it's a very old game. Yeah. Initially, they don't have it in woods. It's been dug up on the on the ground that's as easy so as you make dig. no this is made from the wood but okay you can also dig you know just dig holes on the ground okay so yeah so i that see that can have that uh -huh. but um it's a pretty good old game mm -hmm. but a very uh one that has lasted over the decades that is and great it's, it, it's now done in a more fashionable way you yeah know, they carve the wooden that the wood that comes with it. Uh -huh. But um, yeah, this game teaches us to calculate, teaches okay. us to focus, and teaches us to to concentrate when we are doing things. Because it's only when you concentrate and listen and watch that you 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 learn. Okay. So tell us how you play this game. Um. You firstly, you start it all in fours. Okay. It has seats. Um. Each of the holes have to have four seats. Okay. And the tr okay, we have just put a four. So you on one side. It's r one side is regarded as your home base, and this side will be my base. Okay. So this side is my base. Yeah. Okay. And this is mine. So the right. game is you will attempt to take more homes from me. Okay. So if at the end of it all you have more homes, more fours than I do, then you 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 have you own more, and then I own less. Okay. So it's all a game about outwitting and outselling each other. Okay. So just to make sure I am clear on the game, uh, this is my base. So when we start playing, I start from my base. Yes. And I will attempt to go around. You go around until you come to an empty spot, and that's when you stop. So then it's Anytime your turn. Anytime you come to an empty spot, mm -hmm. then yeah. Okay. And you don't have anything more in your hand, then you stop, then the next person goes on. So you can go. Okay. All right. So then it's I take that. Yeah, you keep going. Mm 
Oh, I'm on so, a roll here. <laughs> so now we'll try to, the game is to build another 4-4. Four, four. Okay, you know, yeah, so my are, aim is to make sure I have four. If I have four, yeah, then I win that. A new four, yeah. You win so that. can I win from my part or I just win from you, your part? You will win from your part. And then okay. if you happen to finish on anyone that is three and then the last one makes it four, you then take you it take from it. mine. Oh, okay. I seem to just mm. be going. That's okay. It's part of the deal. Oh, I hope I can make this one a four. <laughs> oh, okay. So do I take... Oh, this yeah, is mine, though. It. So is I yours. take it? Yeah, you take it. So I yeah. take it out? Okay. Is there an yeah. end? I think you made a mistake. I, you think, threw. <laughs> I think I might have missed yeah, one here. You had dropped one. Oh, fine. Okay. Okay, that's fine. So I have four, <gasps> which is mine. Okay. Okay, so I will try to see if there is a way I can steal one of these, which I don't think there is. So um, well, rather than... If you took that yeah. and came over there, that would be four, right? No, my goal will be to drop the last one here so that I can so win this can so that you don't win it. it. Yeah. Okay, okay. But um, I guess there is nothing I can do. So oh, I see. I will go... So now you win another four. So you take this four out. Okay. When I take my four out. Okay. Oopsie. So you have to take that one out too, right? Yeah. Oh, see. You are pretty good. You really <laughs> got more. <laughs> Oh, so do I take all you these take out? take all the fours, yeah. Oh, well, okay. That's let me take my, hey, hey, <laughs> let me take my staff home first. <laughs> so, okay. So. Wow. Okay, so it's your turn. And I can only start from my base, right? Yeah, you right? can only start from your base, so. Okay. So, I will do that, that. Okay, for me, I will go like this and take another four. Okay. Oh, okay. I'll keep going like that. I'll run away from uh, you. We're <laughs> Build some for me. No, <laughs> because I need to get more house. <laughs> mm. Oh my goodness. Jeez. <laughs> there are no way. Okay. Oh, I'm building that for you, right? Yeah. So, okay. yeah, that's, that's the way. I see, I see, I see. So there is no way we end up eating this yeah. last one. <laughs> so the last person takes the... Once it's only one, so I got two house right away. So let's count how many you have. All right. Whether I was able to two. steal any from you. Four, six, well, two, four, six, eight. Oh, no, 10, no. 12, I guess we were equal. 14, so. 16, 18, 20, that 20, 20 24. <laughs> we were equal. We were equal. Okay. So. That's a good game yeah, to play, so. especially if it's a draw. Nobody yeah, wins. Everybody draw, is happy. So. Well, thank you so much for teaching us this game. It looks like a very fun game. Yeah. And if you do want to try it at home, I'm pretty sure you can make this game anywhere. If you're playing it outside on your driveway, just get a pit of, piece of stone or uh, oh sidewalk good. chalk, right? That yep. would work. Yep. Just draw it out, get some stones, put them in. That should be good. If you're inside the house, just maybe get a plain piece of paper, mm -hmm. stick it to the floor, yes, draw your circles, <laughs> and you have it. You don't yes. really have to have the fancy thing, but you can make it happen. Yeah. So if you do try it out in any way, please send me those pictures. I will put them up on Facebook and on our website. Thank you so very much for joining us. It was a wonderful episode with you guys. I hope that you do join us again next week for an all new episode of Home Is Here. Have a fantastic week. <laughs>